For number 10, we want to draw the curves and find the area that's between them. So let's begin with drawing our um, sine of y is equal sine of x. So uh, I will draw my axis here and I'll just draw um, half the period. So that goes pi over 2 and that is pi. And my function goes um, here and then back down, right? And that is pi over 2 is somewhere here. So this is equal to y is equal to sine of x. Now we do have to draw our second function. Uh, y is equal to 2x over pi. And this may initially look kind of nasty, but it is just a linear function, right? Because um, this is the same thing as saying y is equal to 2 over pi times x. And 2 over pi is just a constant. Um, it is less than 1. So if we consider the point x is equal to pi, the 2 over pi cancels out with the pi, and we're left with just 2. So at the point pi, we would have 2, which is somewhere up here. And um, th the other point would be 0, 0. So when we connect these, it should do go something like this. Uh, and then we draw the area that's between them, and it's this little section. Um, so we should ask ourselves whether we want to integrate it with respect to x or y. It's always useful, since these functions are already expressed as a function of x, it's useful to see if we can integrate it easily with respect to x. And to see that, we just need to draw the rectangle that represents the area, right? Because the integral, it's just summing up these rectangles that are infinitely thin. So the rectangle is given by the height times the width. And the height is just the upper function minus the lower function, um, which the upper function is consistently sine of x, and the lower function is consistently 2 over pi times x. So we can use these um, vertical rectangles, right? So the height is just sine of x minus um, 2 over pi x, and the width is just dx, right, for a little section of our x-axis. So um, before we can integrate, we do need to find the boundaries. Now the boundaries um, appear to be defined by this point over here, right, 0, 0, where the where they intersect, and they also appear to intersect at pi over 2. So let's just check our calculations, um, because it's not so good to just rely on visual approximation. So we'll go, um, we'll set these equal to each other and see if the math checks out. Sine of x is equal to 2 over pi times x. So we'll check the point 0, right? Sine of 0 is just 0 equals... Um, and then that's just 2 over pi times 0, which is equal to 0, so that works. Um, this means that one of our boundaries is 0, the lower boundary. What about the upper boundary? Um, we do need to check the case for of pi over 2. So sine of pi over 2 is equal to 1, right? So that is 1 is equal to, let's plug in pi over 2 on the right-hand side. So that is 2 over pi times pi over over 2, um, and these cancel out, so that is also equal to 1. It checks out, and so um, pi over 2 is our other intersection point. Uh, and now we just need to set up our integral, right, which is just the upper function minus the lower function um, times the width. We cannot forget the width because we it's important to keep track of what we're really adding, right? So um, for this one, we just have the upper function, which is um, which is sine of x and then minus 2 over pi times x, and all of this times dx. Um, so now we just need to integrate this. This is fairly straightforward. Um, the integral of sine of x is just negative cosine x, and then this one would be just minus 2 over pi times x squared over Two. So now we just um, we just clean this up a little, right? Um, this is just minus cosine 
x, and then this is minus x squared over pi, and all of this evaluated from 0 to pi over 2. So now all that's missing for us is to um, apply our boundaries, right? So uh, minus cosine of pi over 2 is just 0, so this is equal to 0, and then minus pi over 2 squared divided by 2. And then um, let's apply the lower boundary. So minus, minus cosine of x, um, cosine of 0 is 1, so minus minus 1, that is equal to plus 1, right? And then um, for this one, for the lower boundary, we'll go minus 0 squared over pi, um, which is just plus 0 because it's minus minus. All right, so all we have to do here is just um, rearrange this. So this is equal to, um, and let me see if I did do something wrong. Yes, I did. Uh, my bad. This on the bottom, it shouldn't be a 2. It should be a pi. So now we just clean it up. So that is um, minus pi over squared divided by 4 pi plus 1, or this is equal to 1 minus the pi's, uh, one of the pi's cancel out, and that is pi over 4. So this is our answer. Um, my handwriting is quite terrible in this one, so I apologize for that. And I hope you guys were able to see how we were we arrived at this answer, right? Which is just kind of drawing it and seeing if we do consistently have an upper function and a lower function. And then we can integrate it with respect to x.